What is going on ladies and gentlemen monkey flop here and today I wanted to bring you guys a quick news update because it looks like We got some modders that have modified the PlayStation 4 to run Lennox and run Pokemon now I'm sure a lot of Pokemon fans are actually really happy about this and happy the that, that the fact that the PlayStation 4 can run it However, I wouldn't recommend it because the PlayStation 4 is awesome and I love playing the game that I have um, this current um, firmware that they they've actually added to it um, it runs on firmware 1.76 so if your PlayStation 4 is upgraded to 3.11 the current uh, firmware software that is available for the PlayStation 4 then um, if, if you're curious you would have to downgrade and everything and then a lot of uh, your games wouldn't work on it but you would have a $400 machine that would run Pokemon um, at the moment I'm sure um, they're gonna continue working on it and continue adding more things probably some emulators and things like that we've seen this in the past and they did it with the PlayStation 3 and it was cool for a minute because it was like oh the PlayStation 3 can do this this is awesome but then modders once they get not these modders but other modders once they get their hands on um the access and, and ability to mod the playstation 3 they did so many different things they jailbroke it um and i mean the sky's the limit um when it comes to modders once they once they're able to get in i'm curious to see what sony does about this what sony does in response to this um, I'm sure they they have a team in place, but we've seen this with the PlayStation 3 one thing that really concerns me is trophies um, We've seen this in the past where trophies were hacked and modders were able to actually just add on trophies as they like to their leisure um, because they modified the PlayStation 4 and Actually the PlayStation 3 excuse me. They've modified the PlayStation 3 and they were actually able to add trophies to the list Sony has um, already taken care of that and the people that have actually um, added trophies to it they've been banned or the trophies were removed uh, either way Sony took care of it but that's just my fear going forward in the future because I know the PlayStation 4 is gonna get hacked I know it's gonna get modded I know people are gonna get into it and jailbreak it and do all these kinds of crazy things and it whatever that that's on you um, my PlayStation 4 is going to stay my PlayStation 4. Um, my only concern, again, is trophies. Keep the trophies sacred, bro. They're, they're, the trophies are meant to be earned and, and accomplished. And you get a really good feeling out of, I just completed an entire game. It took me about two weeks. It took me a month. It took me longer than a month. And I got the platinum. Um, and that's what it that's what it boils down to for me go ahead mod mod the PlayStation 4 I don't really care um, I won't take part in it I won't take part in any jailbreaking or anything like that because I don't see the point in it I'd rather just play my PlayStation 4 it's a $400 machine well now 350 um, the price has dropped but for me it's a $400 machine um, and I have a computer I can run Pokemon on my computer there's no need for me to actually mod my PlayStation 4 um, just to do this but that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think about this in the comments section below I will link you to the original video where they show off the the hack slash mod um, fail overflow is actually the the modders behind this uh, I'll give you guys a link to that in case you guys wanted to see it anyways I'll see you in the next news update Defensive systems online.